So we made a skee ball machine. It keeps track of score and how many balls you have remaining. And when we press the button, the solenoid will lift up right here and let down six balls. And then you just play like a normal skee ball machine. It counts down the balls every time it rolls through here, and when it gets back to zero, the button lights up again, and when you press the button, the score will reset and the balls will drop down again, so you can play again. We have an Arduino soundboard back here playing music while you're playing the game, um, and every time you score points, the buzzer goes off signifying points were scored. So the top one is 100, one below it is 75. 25, and then zero. With the exception of the Arduino running the soundboard, it is all controlled off of PIC microcontrollers. We have one 16F88 controlling the, uh, we call it the command PIC, controlling when the uh, game start button is pushed, the solenoid actuator for the ball release, and keeping track of the, um, of the, like, the value of the ball count, so when it equals zero, lights up the uh, game start button. Then we are running, for purely just to have enough input-output pins to run these seven-segment displays, we're running two 16F887s, which are 40-pin picks. Um, one for the score sen uh, sensors and display, one for the ball count and sensor. We are powered off of a, uh, just a general computer power supply, 12 volts DC, and a capability of 30 amps. Um, the only thing that needs 12 volts is the solenoid, so everything up here we're running through um, 12 to 5 volt buffers right here, and everything sitting up here in this box is run off five volts.